I'm going to start tutorial five. This tutorial uh, supports uh, important uh, concepts about uh, RL and RC circuits, uh, which is very important part in the discourse. Uh, first of all, let me explain important concept about uh, capacitor and inductor. If we have a capacitor, this capacitor in the charge position should be changed to open circuit. And uh, if you want to find out uh, capacitor voltage in the charge position, uh, we sh can find out output voltage across of open circuits. And uh, open circuit voltage is equal to um, capacitor voltage in the infinity. And also uh, is uh, voltage across of capacitor in the charge position. For inductor, uh, in the charge position, uh, we can put a short circuit instead of conductor. That's why if uh, in any circuit, we want to find out uh, the current uh, of this inductor in the charge position, we can find out current in the short circuit. That's why short circuit current is equal to inductor current in infinity. To summarize, if uh, we want to find out uh, voltage across of capacitor in the charge position, uh, we uh, can find out voltage across of open circuits. And if we want to find out current in charge position for inductor, uh, we can find out uh, short circuit current. First question uh, is very important question. In this question, uh, we want to uh, find out uh, output voltage for T is greater than zero. Um, the circuit is like this. We have 10 volts here, 2K here. We have a switch here. Uh, this switch is opened in T is equal to zero, which means uh, it's closed uh, less than T equal to zero. And here we have 4K, and here we have a capacitor for 50 micro uh, the final goal is to find out output voltage here. Output voltage here for T is greater than zero. Okay, important aspect of uh, questions like this question is to investigate about capacitor. In T less than zero or T greater than zero. And uh, we can put equal in each part, doesn't matter. In T is less than zero, the switch is closed. And the circuit is like this circuit. 10 volts here, 2K here, and 4K here. Uh, important note, in this domain we have uh, between minus infinity and zero. That's why between minus infinity and zero, the circuit is like this circuit. And this capacitor, this capacitor uh, should be charged between minus infinity to zero. That's why 
in the zero this circuit is equal to open circuit and capacitor should be changed to open circuit in order to find out voltage output voltage in time zero again uh, between minus infinity and zero here uh, this capacitor should be charged and should be changed to open circuit that's why if uh, we want to find out output voltage in zero uh, we can put open circuit instead of capacitor and immediately you can say 2k and 4k are series and this current is equal to 10 over 6 and immediately you can find out output voltage here output voltage here is equal to 10 over 6 times 4 and uh, uh, voltage is equal to 4 volts it's easy and very important to solve a lot of questions like this question uh, again to summarize uh, we solved circuit between minus infinity to zero and uh, in the zero uh, the capacitor uh, changed to open circuit and uh, finally we can find out uh, open um, circuit voltage or output voltage in the zero is equal to four volts and now uh, we want to discuss about t is greater than or equal to zero uh, for this part uh, we found v out in zero is equal to vc is equal in zero and is equal to four volts this is final answer for previous part now we want to discuss about t is greater than zero in this domain uh, the switch is open that's why uh, the circuit is like this we have 10 volts here we have open circuit here and we have 4k and capacitor here and this is output voltage okay and here we have two k because here we have open circuit uh, we can uh, discard this part of circuit that's why the circuit should be simplified to this circuit here we have capacitor and here we have 4k and here we have output voltage okay this circuit is source free circuit and uh, uh, it's easy to explain uh, here we have a capacitor uh, which initial voltage is 4 volts here and we don't have any source that's why this capacitor should be discharged to these resistors and the voltage of capacitor or output voltage uh, for t greater than zero uh, is equal to output voltage in zero for this equation uh, again uh, this capacitor is discharging in 4k for t uh, greater than zero and uh, to find out tau uh, we know uh, for tau in rc circuits we have important rules r tevenant times c here we have only one r that's why uh, tau is equal to four 
k is equal to four thousands r and fifty should be changed to forward. That's why tau is equal to zero point two seconds. Uh, important note again, uh, in order to find out how uh, R Tevenan uh, should be O and C should be fraud. Uh, and finally, we can say tau uh, is uh, in term of second. Uh, now it's clear. Output voltage or capacitor voltage is equal to 4. This 4 should be here. Uh, times this part of equation. And uh, how we can plot the waveform of the output is easy. Uh, it's start from 4 volts and goes to 0. This is a uh, waveform of output voltage. Uh, to summarize, uh, for solving any RC circuits, it is very important to investigate at the position of capacitor. Uh, and also, if we have switch, we should investigate uh, before opening switch and uh, after opening switch, what happens for capacitor. Again, next question. Uh, describes about important uh, circuit like this. Question two. In this question, uh, we want to find out output current, which is equal to IL, uh, for uh, T is greater than zero. Greater or equal to zero. Uh, we don't care about this equal here. This equal, uh, in some case, uh, consider in the less than zero, and in other case, consider in greater than zero. The circuit is like this. We have four amps here. We have a capacitor here. Uh, sorry, uh, we have uh, two amps here. We have resistor here. And also, we have a switch. Here, this switch is opened in t is equal to zero and we have four k here and uh, we have uh, four ohms here and also we have an inductor here should be 400. And we have two ohms here. Uh, again, we have two amps here, two ohms here, and four ohms here. And uh, four ohms here, four hundred here. And now we want to uh, find out this current, output current, or I L. Again, uh, important aspect of many circuits like this circuit is to investigate and to convert the circuit to two sub-circuits uh, for uh, these two domains, T less than zero and T 
greater or equal to zero. Uh, for t less than zero, this switch is closed. That's why the circuit should be like this. We have two amps here. We have two ohms here. The circuit closed. We have four ohms here. And also we have four ohms here. Important concept about inductor. Uh, we have uh, in this area between minus infinity and zero. That's why uh, we can say this inductor should be charged. And for this reason, uh, we can change this inductor to short circuit. And uh, in order to find out this current, uh, this current should be output current in time zero or IL in times zero. In order to find out uh, the current uh, in the time of zero, uh, we change uh, the inductor to short circuit. And it's very easy to solve this question. Here we have four, here we have two amps. 2 amps divided to 2, 4 ohms. That's why immediately you can say this current, this current is equal to 2 amps. Uh, this is final answer for uh, part A. Now uh, we want to discuss about uh, t greater than zero. In this part, in this part, we uh, know output current or IL in zero is equal to two amps. This is important condition for this part. And also uh, for uh, T greater than zero, uh, the switch, the switch is open and circuit is like this circuit. We have two amps here, two ohms here, open circuit here, and four ohms here, four ohms here, and 400 is here. Uh, we can discard this part and circuit uh, should be simplified to this circuit. 4 ohms here, 4 ohms here, and we have inductor here. Again, this circuit uh, calls source free circuits. And uh, the current of this inductor should be discharged to these two resistors. And immediately we can uh, say I out or I L T is equal to uh, I out in the time of zero times this part of equation. This is um, equation for output current uh, and uh, uh, important note in order to find out tau tau in the RL circuits is equal to L over RTH or R seven N. here uh, we have L4 and R tevenant should be uh, calculated tevenant resistance across of this inductor and should be 4 plus 4 4 times 8 
and uh, finally we can find out the output current is equal to 2 times this part this is final answers for output currents okay question three Uh, describe about how we can find out tau in uh, some circuits. Uh, question three. Question three. In this question, we want to find out tau in this circuit. We have 10 ohms here. We have 40 ohms here and 10 ohms here and 2 ohms here and we have a capacitor here 5 frets. we want to find out tau in this circuit uh, we know in any RC circuit tau is equal to R times C uh, R terminal uh, is equivalent resistance across of capacitor. That's why, in order to find out uh, R terminal, we want to find out equivalent resistance here. We want to find out equivalent resistance, which calls R terminal. Microsoft capacitor and uh, immediately you can uh, find out equivalent resistance or RTH is equal to 10 ohms and 40 are parallel 10 and uh, 40 are parallel and uh, Total should be series to this 10 ohms and this 2 ohms. And final answers for RTH is equal to 20 ohms. This is final answer for RTH. And immediately uh, you can calculate tau. Tau is equal to 20 ohms times 5 rod should be 100 seconds uh, once again in tau in this tau uh, r should be ohms and c should be rod and if uh, we are discussing about uh, rl circuits tau is equal to l our RTH here again RTH is in O and L is in Henry and this tau uh, is in term of second and also this tau is in term of second uh, next question mm, is very important question question four in this question uh, we want to uh, find out output voltage which is equal to voltage across of capacitor for t greater than one second this is important question uh, here uh, we have 
six u t minus one and here we have twenty ohms. and 40 here and 10 here 40 is kilo ohms and 10 is kilo ohms and this 20 is kilo ohms and here uh, we have a capacitor for 3 micro the final goal is to find out this voltage output voltage or capacitor voltage for t greater than one uh, okay uh, this question provides uh, a good way uh, of interpreting about unit uh, function source uh, let me describe about this we have this source here 6 ut minus 1 uh, which means um, uh, this circuit uh, this source uh, should be divided in two domains t less than 1 and t greater or equal to 1 in t less than one this source should be zero and because we have voltage voltage should be zero should like short circuits and for a greater than one this source should be like six volts uh, to clarify uh, the waveform of this source is like this the waveform of this source is like this uh, this is one second and here we have six volts that's why uh, we can say uh, this source uh, is equal to zero for t less than zero and is equal to six for t greater than greater than one and greater than and less than one again uh, this source for t less than one is equal to zero and should be changed to short circuit and this source for greater than one should be changed to six volts for this reason uh, for solving this circuit uh, we want to discuss about two domains t less than one and t greater than or equal to one okay for t less than one uh, the circuit should be simplified like this we have zero instead of source and for because we are discussing about voltage source zero should be short circuit here and we have 20 here 40 here and we have 10 here and we have capacitor here important aspect uh, we are uh, between this area minus infinity and one between minus infinity and one we don't have any source in this circuit that's why immediately we can uh, say v uh, output voltage or capacitor voltage in the one second is equal to zero this is important and uh, easy to understand again we are discussing between minus infinity and one in this area we don't have any source in the circuit 
That's why uh, we can say output voltage or capacitor voltage in the uh, one second is equal to zero. For this domain, um, T is greater than one, we have six volts here and we have 20 here, 40 here, and 10, and capacitor here. We want to find out output voltage here for T greater than 1. Okay, uh, uh, you learned in the lecture this equation. Output voltage or voltage across of capacitor is equal to this equation. Output voltage or uh, capacitor voltage in the infinity plus output voltage or capacitor voltage in the one minus output voltage or capacitor voltage in the infinity times this part t minus one over tau uh, this is important uh, part again uh, we have uh, this equation for any capacitor in any rc circuits uh, in order to find out this equation, uh, we know V output in the one uh, is equal to zero because we found before. Only we need uh, find out output voltage or capacitor voltage in infinity. For this reason, we should put open circuit instead of capacitor and the circuit should be simplified like this we have six here we have 20 here we have 40 here and we have 10 here an important aspect we have open circuit here we want to find out output voltage in the infinity here once again uh, capacitor in the infinity should be charged and should be changed to open circuit and now we want to find out open circuit voltage or infinity voltage for output in this circuit this current should be zero and immediately you can say output voltage is equal to voltage across of 40 k and this for this 20 this 20 and this 40 are threes and immediately you can find out this current this current is equal to 6 divided 20 plus 40 is equal to 60 and voltage across of 40 is equal to 40 times this current and final answer uh, for infinity should be 4 volts again uh, to investigate concept in this circuit we know this current is equal to 0 20 and 40 are series and uh, immediately we can find out this current and uh, finally, we can find out output voltage in the infinity. Uh, and uh, in order to find out tau, because we have in the RC circuit, tau is equal to R to the nan times C. And how we can find out R to the nan? R to the nan is equivalent resistance across of uh, capacitor. And you know in the Thevenin Norton scheme, in order to find out equivalent resistance or Thevenin resistance, we should uh, we should put zero instead of all of the source. We have here uh, voltage source. Voltage source should be zero. Should be changed to short circuit. And here we have 20. Here we have 40. 
and here we have 10 and we want to find out equivalent resistance here or terminal resistance here and uh, terminal resistance here is equal to 20 parallel to 40 plus 10 and after that uh, by applying RTH in tau, tau should be uh, calculate to 0.069 second. Uh, this is final answer for tau. And uh, finally, we can find out final answer uh, after applying output in the infinity here and tau in this equation we can find out this equation for output voltage 4 minus 3 times this part this is output voltage for t greater than or equal to 1 how we can plot this waveform it's easy uh, the waveform start from 1 and uh, in the 1 in the 1 second we have output voltage 0 that's why started from here and in the infinity, uh, we have output voltage 4. That's why the output waveform should be like this. Started uh, from 0 in 1 second and goes to 4 in the infinity. To summarize, uh, this circuit is very important uh, if you uh, can discuss about this circuit, uh, this circuit and uh, you understand any concept in this circuit it means you can solve any other question like uh, this question in order to solve uh, many circuits like this circuit again uh, we should discuss about capacitor um, and investigate uh, uh, what happens for capacitor and uh, calculate uh, voltage in the infinity and in the uh, initial uh, times for capacitor and finally we can find out output voltage for this circuit and for any other circuit last question question six again is very important question in this question again we want to find out uh, output voltage uh, for 3 greater than 1 in this circuit we have two source and we have two ohms here uh, we have two capacitors here uh, 0 0.2 farads and 0 0.2 farads here and we have another resistors here and we have current source here this current source uh, should be like 6 U T minus 1. This current source should be like 6 U T. Uh, we want to find out output voltage here. This is output voltage. Two important things. Immediately we can simplify two capacitor the two one capacitor. It's important to uh, start 
for solving question we have 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 that's why uh, we can change two capacitor to only one capacitor because two capacitor are parallel and uh, should be simplified to one capacitor uh, for 0 0.1 micro farads and second important things is uh, to discuss about two current source this current source um, starts from one second and uh, should be six amps here and this current source start from zero second and again should be six amps uh, that's why we should uh, discuss about three domains first domain t is great uh, less than zero a second domain t uh, greater than or equal to zero and less than one and last domain t is greater than one uh, this is important aspect for uh, solving uh, any questions like this question uh, we should divide it, this circuit to sub uh, to three sub circuits or three domains uh, mm, less than zero between zero and one and greater than one in less than zero this source should be zero this source also should be zero the circuit should be simplified like this we have two ohms here and capacitor here and eight ohms here because uh, we are in this domain minus infinity to zero and we don't have any source in this circuit immediately we can say output voltage or capacitor voltage uh, or capacitor voltage in the zero is equal to zero this is important result for this part and for second part uh, we have this source because this source between zero and one we have this source and we don't have this source that's why circuit should be simplified like this we don't have this source that's why this source should be zero and uh, this so this source is current source and should be zero should be like open circuit that's why here we have open circuit instead of six amps in the left side and here we have capacitor and here we have eight ohms and here we have six amps okay now we want to find out uh, voltage here voltage here which calls output voltage okay for t greater than one uh, we should consider two source together like this we have six amps here and two ohms here and this capacitor and eight ohms here and also we have this source uh, six amps here again we want to find out output voltage here okay um, for first part uh, we found uh, output voltage or capacitor voltage uh, in zero in time zero 
is equal to zero. This is important uh, result for part one. Uh, for part two, for part two, uh, the circuit is like this. We have two ohms here, 0 0.1 capacitor here, and 8 ohms here, and 6 amps here. In order to find out uh, output voltage here, again, uh, we can use regular equation for capacitor. Uh, we have this equation, Vc in infinity plus Vc in zero minus Vc in infinity times this part okay uh, we should find out output voltage in this in infinity in this circuit in this circuit again uh, to find out this voltage uh, we should put instead of capacitor open circuits that that's why the circuit is like this The circuit is like this. Six amps here, eight ohms here, and open circuit here. Okay. sorry this six amps direction of this six amps is like this and this and also in the uh, original question yeah in original question the direction of this current is like this Okay. Now, we can find out this uh, voltage. Okay. Um, in order to find out this voltage, uh, which causes output voltage in the infinity, uh, we have two alternatives. Uh, we uh, can apply KVL here. Another uh, alternative, we can change uh, this current, uh, this current, and this resistor to voltage source. Uh, if we want to change to this current source to voltage source the circuit should be like this two amps here output voltage here and here we have eight ohms and minus and positive six times eight is equal to 48 volts that's why output voltage in the infinity should be 48 volts okay and uh, after applying this voltage to uh, important equation and also we have for vc0 zero, zero voltage and for tau tau is equal to r r times c and uh, in order to find out r th in this circuit uh, 
uh, we should open circuit put open circuit instead of this current that's why r tevenan is equal to 2 plus 8 this 2 and this 8 should be 3 is times c 0 0.1 and the final answer for tau is equal to one second this is final answer for tau okay after combining this and applying tau to this equation and also uh, output voltage in the infinity to this equation we have final answer for part two. Final answer for part two should be uh, like this. Output voltage is equal to 48 times this part. This is final answer for uh, this area. For this area. Now I'm ready to start uh, for t is greater than or equal to 1. For this part, uh, we should consider two sources together. That's why the circuit should be like this. We have six amps here and also we have two ohms here we have capacitor here and we have eight ohms here and this six amps in the right side again uh, we can uh, use for important equation here output voltage here output voltage here or capacitor or voltage of capacitor uh, is equal to this equation important aspect here we should put output voltage or capacitor voltage in the time of one and here and also import another important aspect here we have this equation this is uh, important equation which you can use for capacitor voltage in any RC circuits and if you change uh, voltage to current you can use this equation for um, uh, inductor current for any RL circuits for this reason, we want to uh, find out, uh, for this equation, we know voltage in the one second. Uh, for this reason, we should put one in this equation. That's why output voltage in one is equal to 48 times, instead of T, we should put one and should be 34, 34 volts and we should find out output voltage in this part again to infinity for this reason again we should change capacitor to open circuit like this the circuit should be like this 6 here Two ohms here this capacitor should be changed to open circuit and we have eight ohms here and this current here for this direction uh, and also we have six amps like this okay now uh, we want to find out output voltage in infinity in this circuit again 
uh, we have uh, two or three options in order to find out output voltage here if uh, we want to change uh, current source to voltage source uh, we have like this I'm changing this current source and this current source to voltage source and that's why here we have 6 times 2 is equal to 12 and here we have 2 ohms here we have open circuit and here we have 8 and here we have 48 volts for this positive and negative we want to find out output voltage here you know this voltage is equal to zero because current is zero current is zero and immediately you can find out output voltage in infinity is equal to six t this is output voltage in infinity and in order to find out this voltage you can apply kvl here after applying kvl here minus 12 here minus 48 here is equal to minus 60 and change to other side should be found should be found output voltage is equal to 60 and finally uh, for t greater than or equal to 1 uh, we have this equation for output voltage or voltage across of capacitor after simplifying should be 60 minus 29.66 times this part this is final answers for question in next tutorial uh, we want to uh, discuss about important circuits uh, which covers uh, chapter 9